Okay, so earlier I um, I started to talk about, I was talking about relationships and um, knowing yourself, to know yourself and the, the uh, healing of childhood wounds. And I started to talk about like the outside noise and um, what people might say and that sort of thing. And I stopped really because, you know, what I've learned, you know, in my process is once you start giving that thing attention, you've given it too much attention. And basically that's what it is. It's all noise. Um, it's, you know, there, there comes a point when we even have to look at it, not as the people, you know, but as the spiritual aspects of it. So like I talked about the gnat, you know, it's a spiritual thing. And gnats just kind of like me talking on the, on, on, you know, here, um, on this video. And then a swarm of gnats come in. Before I know it, I'm waving off the gnats and that sort of thing. And I, I'm going to lose my whole train of thought right so it's really just kind of keeping it moving staying focused you know um like it says don't look to the left don't look to the right you know certainly don't look behind you look straight ahead um that's the process and it requires a lot of um discipline the the, the journey um to wholeness you know to your best self your highest self your Christ-like self, you know, it, it, it's a journey, and, you know, Christ comes in, and he saves, yes, but we got work to do, we got work to do, and, um, and, uh, you know, no matter what you believe in, you better heal some of that stuff, you better get yourself right, because that childhood trauma and stuff will kill you, um, but no, back to what I was saying, you know, I was talking about, so I will say this, um, because this work is, um, it's, it's, the work is, it's a lifestyle. Um, once you say yes to it and decide, uh, to move forward on it, um, it's like, a um, I, 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 I liken it to like a Michael Jordan or, um, an Olympian, um, you know, and the practice and, you know, the attention and focus that you have to have. And, you know, you can't, you just can't really, 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 truly worry about what people, what people say. And I'll tell you what they'll, you've heard it before. They're going to say this as you go. And they're going to say, you've changed. A cousin of mine just turned me on to the evolution of me you know, that, you know, I've evolved. So certainly you don't want to stay in the same place. You, you, you're you not going to stay in the same place. You're going to evolve. So yes, I'm evolving. And you might even say, you know, I'm not, I'm not changing. My change will be when I leave up out of here. But I certainly am evolving. And then the other aspect of it is they're going to say, you think you're perfect. Now for me, I'm always very conscious of that. I always say not perfect. Because I know that this, that, and, and I say that for me because I understand that this journey is, is forever, you know, it's, it's really up until I fly up out of here. That I will be forever learning, as I say, forever loving and forever growing. And so, you know, I don't want to get it in myself that I think I'm perfect. So that's a real big piece, but people will try to put that thing on you. Um, I don't eat meat at one time I only ate live food so I was really eating like the ancients you know back in the day we were pulling stuff from the trees you know out the ground and eating and that's how I chose to eat for uh, three years um, of course I didn't have trees and bushes and stuff so I was going to, <laughs> to the grocery store but it was you know fruits and vegetables and nuts and you know that sort of thing and um, and it was the highest time of my life spiritually it was amazing Ooh, got twinkles in my eyes it was so beautiful and so I planned to go back there but and then the exercise the movement the breathing the meditation the fasting on a regular regular basis const, um, con 
conscious of the words that I spoke, you know, so I never, it was conscious of my words, you know, not getting caught up in gossip and all of that stuff and being conscious of, um, because it's very important, you know, especially then I understood, well, I understand energy. So even if, you know, I'm speaking up against somebody, that's just like, I may as well just bop them in the head, you know, and, and that sort of thing. So the words that came out of my mouth um, was or is, is a reflection of who I am. So that's a process, and I'm trying to get back there. I've been through some things that kind of took me back, but that's my forward movement. And um, um, I don't, you know, drink, and I don't, and I, what I say about that is, you know, glasses of wine and that sort of thing and what have you. That's 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 not my issue. For me, um, spiritually, um, alcohol, just to keep it real, um, took out my family. So it's a spiritual warfare for me, um, the whole alcohol thing. Um, but on another side of it, I don't run from... Um, my issues. I'm not running from the feelings and things that I have inside of me. You know, I don't want to chase it down. I want to confront it. I want to look at it and deal with it. I um, mean, that's a conscious choice and a conscious movement. It's also with my body. I'm not taking, thank you, God. I don't even, I don't even take aspirins, you know. Um, I think the best thing right now is like the cannabis, but, you know, I find we're abusing you know, my community, I'm going to speak, period, people, um, the whole marijuana game, but, you know, so that'll be a whole nother issue in itself for, um, for people, but if you use it consciously and wisely, some good stuff, um, but, uh, you know, I, I deal with the pains, and so I have a high threshold for, for pain, you know, um, because I deal with it, and the body is just absolutely incredibly brilliant and amazing. God made it a masterpiece. There ain't nothing that can compare to it. It's just brilliant, and uh, it does its thing, and it tells you what it needs. And and so, um, you know, I work on. on I'm, I, I'm I'm natural with that. Not perfect, but that's my that's my lifestyle and my way. So, um, really, really and truly, you know, people are going to come up against it, especially family. Because family, you know, we've been eating, what you talking about, you don't, eat, you don't eat no pork or you don't eat no meat. We've been eating meat for a thousand years. Grandma Jane lived to be 112 years old and you talking about you don't eat no meat. What's wrong with you, child? <laughs> You know, so that's the first. And then, uh, you know, whatever else. Um, <laughs> whatever else it is, it's going to be something. That's why it is. It's best to just kind of stay in. Um, and believe me, I fall short because <laughs> I am naturally, in my nature, a fire. I'm fire. And so I'm learning in my... Uh, process to really channel that thing and be more like a I don't like to say fireplace because fire sometimes you need some fire and just healthy fire you know um, but he's he, he gave me that for, on purpose so I um, learning to use it wise I guess I'd say that so yeah I, I, I just wanted to put that out there because folks are going to talk about you um and i've said that before uh you gotta just let them talk and keep it moving all right so i just wanted to say that i have some heaviness i want to talk about something and i'm not sure what it is quite yet so i thought i'd come on and at least say say um share that with you all right <laughs> be well be love peace